All right, so today we are going to do an unboxing and a review on the Nerf Select Ultra. I picked this up at Ollie's for $19.99. Retails for $40. Bucks. I know a lot of people don't like Ultras, but uh, I do. I'm a big fan of them. I only have the one, and it was actually, it's the one. So it does really, really good. I'm really hoping to, to get a Pharaoh one of these days. But anyway, into this, we're going to open this thing up. I've already used by a Westcott Steel Titanium Scissors. We're going to open this up and look. I haven't had it open. I just went ahead and cut the box open. We're going to see what we got in here. So, just a regular old plastic. Looks like we got our goods in here. There's our blaster. Got anything else in there? Nope. So, there's the box like you see it. I don't know what we're getting into. It looks like a double mag, so I guess you can load accuracy or just the regular ultras in it. Looks like maybe you shift it side to side is what it looks like here. So I don't know. We're going to try that out. Check that out. All right, there's the back of it. It comes with both. Looks like it comes with the accuracy ones. I don't have any of these. I got tons of these, though, so we'll be able to really try it out. Uh, two removable 10 dart mags comes with that. That's a good deal. It's a fully motorized, so I don't know if this is semi-auto or fully auto. Uh, I did grab some double A's, but it actually takes C's. So hopefully I have enough C's. I may have to rob them out of the one to do it. But, but Anyway, that's for the box. Get that out of here. Here's blaster. Got a little bit of cardboard on it here. Couldn't get that off of there. Get that out of here. Okay, so that that actually how you shift it. I tell you, no, nope, I don't tell you. So, I guess technically it's a twenty round blaster because it's going to come with two ten round magazines. There's your releases. Like I said, I don't have batteries in it yet. Pretty much standard of anything Nerf. Like there's your there's your motor, there's your trigger. I I like that. That's kind of neat little system there. So hopefully it works really good. Here's our battery door right here. Of course, you got your sling mount here. It doesn't really look like it has another one anywhere. I guess right here. I guess that could be one. Uh, it's got one rail on the top. Looks like that's it. Looks like there is absolutely no one anywhere else. So you got a mount here, mount here, mount here. So you can do sling here, but nothing. I guess you could do something here. You do have a nice carry handle, though. So that's super sweet view of it there there's the blaster let's see see what we got in here use our trusty westcott steel again it's a really nice scissor really like it. not very expensive super sharp all right we have one ultra bag and we have two ultra bags so that's cool Looks like our darts packaged up in the little like cray paper stuff that they put it in. That's a good piece of box we don't need. Here's your instructions, which really I don't really think you need to read this. I mean, maybe you do, but everything's pretty much uh, in general. I mean, you know, it shows you where the batteries are, it takes six C's. So I think the one only yeah, the one takes six as well. So it'll be a pretty heavy blaster, really, because uh, it's a lot of batteries. But anyway, so there's that. We got our mags, we got our blaster. Let's get in here and see what we got. And scissors again. There we go. So it should be 10 and 10. Get that out of here. So I don't have any of these, so that's that's new to me. I've never I don't have any of these. Like I said, I got tons of these, but these are supposed to be like a I guess an AccuStrike equivalent. I just don't see how this can fly better than this. The physics to me aren't there. This is a flat. <laughs> this is round. Anyway, there they are. So it comes with the darts. Shows you everything it comes with right there. We'll get some batteries put in it, and we'll be back in a minute.
All right, so removal of that screw and that screw. Open this door up. Hold on, like that, just like that. Take six C's. So we're gonna go ahead and get these dudes put in here. Get them in there. Be careful not to break the tabs in the tab chain because they're kind of cheap. Get them in there. The last one's a little bit. Now, these are kind of heavy, but the fact that they put it in the back of the blaster is really a good i like it i like the idea because your bag's gonna be up here so this is nice so it's actually kind of moving the weight around for us a little bit so we'll see the the one the only other one that i have is the one and it has them kind of in the middle so it's actually really nice it's balanced pretty well all right so we're getting ready to fire this thing up see what it can do so we're going to put a few shots down. So it's got a standard, like, AK-style bag release. You say shift it. You can shift it this way. There's your actual jam door if you need it. You can just push them over. Whichever one's hanging out is the one that's not going to get shot, obviously. But we're going to take some shots from about 20 feet and see what it does. So the accu accuracy, accuracy strike, whatever they call them, are far more accurate. But anyway, that's test fire of the new Ultra. All right, so we're going to do a little bit more precision targeting, see how many we can land. This is the Select Ultra. I've already lost one of those. There's, I don't know where it's at. It's somewhere, but I don't know where it is. So we're going to shoot... The regulars and then the ultras and we'll see how many we can land terrible we actually landed more with the uh, the accuracy ones but uh I think it's pretty quick. So 20 rounds, shoot it between. I like it. 